we were looking at what I call pro-choice, and we start with a song. In the presence of the Lord, there is fullness of joy. That is why I can sing. There's nothing God cannot do. And so when we want to make our choices, we need to also take this into consideration. Let's look at this very interesting account in Genesis 13, verse 10. And Lord lifted his eyes and saw all the plain of Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt as you go towards Zohar. Then Lord chose for himself all the plain of Jordan, and Lord journeyed east, and he separated from each other. Abraham dwelt in the land of Canaan, and Lord dwelt in the cities of the plain, and pitched his tent even as far as Sodom. But the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. So there was a bit of a conflict between Abraham and Lot. And uh, the, Abraham said, look, we can't continue like this. We are you know, blood rel relations. Let's try and solve this. So let's separate. And in making that separation, Abraham gave Lot uh, the first choice, which is really where our title is coming from, which is pro choice. And what Lot basically did was to look at where it is that he wants to settle. So he had looked at this side, looked at the other side, and realized that this side is more fertile, and decided to go settle there. And this is a lot about, of course, that is humans for you. We like to, we are, you know, we are, uh, you know, basically persuaded by appearance. So because the land was fertile, that is the direction that he went. But look at uh, what you find in verse 13, but the men of Sodom were seemingly wicked and sinful against the Lord. So where had gone to settle, these guys were you know, wicked people. They were very sinful people. And of course, eventually, uh, disaster will strike. You know, so that you are rich, uh, you know, that you are prosperous, uh, is not an approval from God. You know, in fact, sometimes that can actually be a problem. When you are doing so well, you need to really check yourself and your level of spirituality. But of course, this is a lot about choice. We shouldn't really be the kinds of people that are moved a lot by the loss of the flesh, the loss of the eyes, and the pride of life. We should be people that are really asking God, where do you really want me to settle? Uh, who do you want me to marry? Which kind of career do you want me to get into? You know, let's put God first in, in terms of the kinds of choices that we make, because this is what is going to keep us in God's will, and this is what is going to prosper.